Major story News 4 is going to be following today. And today, Republican gubernatorial candidate Carl Palladino is expected to pick up another powerful endorsement. For more on this, let's send it out to Michelle McClintock live at Palladino's campaign headquarters. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning to you. It's less than five weeks until Election Day, and neither side is holding back when it comes to tough talk on the campaign trail. Uh, I think Mr. Palladino's agenda is an extreme agenda. He says that uh, he believes the best form of government is a benevolent dictator. I believe in democracy. Democrat Andrew Cuomo took his shots at his opponent when he stopped in Buffalo to unveil a job creation plan. His comments came as Palladino was responding to comments made by Joy Behar of ABC's The View about Palladino's child out of wedlock. He said he could win if all his illegitimate children vote. <laughs> Paladino's camp responded by saying Behar should be ashamed of herself and that, quote, the only person here who is illegitimate is Joy Behar's hairstylist, end quote. The Republican is expecting a campaign boost today, though, when the conservative party meets to choose their nominee, following Rick Lazio dropping out of the race. They're expected to support Paladino. And Palladino was in New York City campaigning and responded to Cuomo's being here by, in his jobs plan by saying the jobs plan is nothing but, quote, empty promises. Reporting live downtown, Joe and Victoria, back to you. Thank you, Michelle. The latest developments in this heated election are right at your fingertips. Just visit our politics section at WIVB.com.